Yo, what up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here, bringing you another, well, it's not even a review like that, but something I wanted to add to my collection that I think is outstanding, and that is this Avatar AMP mech suit by McFarlane Toys. Because I want to get my creative juices flowing with this, and maybe perhaps get more and mod it, but I love mechs, and I actually had my beloved G.I. Joe Classified Series line in mind for this, since I want to pull some things off. This just dropped in the mail right now, so we'll discover this stuff together. Gotta give two big shout-outs for making this review happen. And the first shout-out, I gotta thank Talker Art for hooking me up with this mech. I stumbled it upon his IG post and YouTube video, and I said I must have this. So I hit him up, and he called me over the phone and told me he got one. I was effing excited. Paid him right away so he can get this delivered to my doorstep ASAP. I want to clarify some things though, uh, because some of y'all asked me what I thought of the Talker R and Dan Yoon controversial incident uh, back at San Diego Comic Con. I never replied to those comments because I wanted to talk to him directly first before commenting on anything. We did, and look, I don't condone what he did, and I told him to his face that that shit was uncalled for and uncool. I won't defend him on that. He knows he got out of line, but at least he apologized. And for those who asked, and for those who ask me if I think he's really racist, no, he's not racist in my opinion. If he was, he would stand by it by saying, I have my rights type of bullshit. So he's not. Plus, if he was really racist, he wouldn't even be talking to me because I'm Puerto Rican. A racist wouldn't affiliate themselves with another race but their own. Hell, even his ex-wife was Puerto Rican. So let him live to be a better person. He even told me he apologized to Dan Yoon a second time, and they're good now. He didn't even need a second apology because Dan Yoon told him, like, they were good the minute he walked away, and they settled it like men. And there was some other drama that some folks were saying that we hated each other because how he would talk shit about me on his channel and call me all sorts of derogative things. Like, no, <laughs> that's his gimmick. If he's not talking shit, then I don't want to watch him. <laughs> He never attacked me personally and always showed me respect whenever we talked. We were cool and always were cool. We hung out the entire time at Toy Fair. I just don't know why some folks like to blow things out of proportions when they don't even know what goes on behind the scenes. At the end of the day, let's just enjoy some toys because life is too damn short to be pissed off all the time. I'm going to leave it like that. But damn, is this baby beautiful or what, man? And the second shout out I gotta give is to my boy Articulated Ninja, man. You gotta check his reviews out. That man is the realest. You wanna get honest reviews? He doesn't even do reviews like that. He'll even tell you. But he just gives, like, his honest thoughts. And, yo, check him out. That That's my dude right there. Like, he's the homie for life. He even told me, like, when I get this to please review it and I don't make promises like that but that's the homie for life and I gotta I gotta review it man because I know he wanted to see this um I saw his video of this he gave me a ton of ideas on what to do with modding because I do plan on uh modding this um but I might get another one because I, I kind of like this version how it is I'm gonna like keep it the way it is and uh I'm just gonna tinker with some some, some ideas here and then you know uh, we'll definitely, I don't know, I'll see where it goes, I, I might get super creative to the point where I'm gonna get so many of these, wow, man, this thing is freaking beautiful, um, but yeah, definitely check out Articulated Ninja's reviews, he's, like, one of my favorite YouTubers now, for real, like, I'll drop a link in, uh, the description so you can check him out, but man, I I'm thinking so many things right here, like, Maybe painting this in yellow and uh, getting some AIM mechs for my uh, Marvel Legends AIM figures. And, you know, this is definitely good for G.I. Joe 1. Um, and I can show you how this works. Now, this is for, like, the 3-inch scale figures. Because this right here will fit a 4, 3 and 3 quarters uh, inch figure inside. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you the creativity on how to really make it work with... Uh, six inch figures um, you'll see that articulated ninja showed a great demonstration of that even talker R in his video uh, showed how it could work too but you know I'm gonna put my own twist on it wow this thing is beautiful I can't stop looking at this this thing is crazy beautiful he comes with this crazy uh, gun with this like knife on the uh, bottom right there even comes with a knife this big knife that you can store right there. There's a sheave, which is freaking dope. 
so I do like that right there. Uh, this hand will, you know, fit the knife. And uh, give me a second. If the screen gets blurry, my bad. It's like the first time I'm shooting automatic in a really long time because I normally uh, shoot manually. So, damn. Yeah, that looks good right there. We'll get a closer look into the details. Um, and then we'll have some fun with some modding ideas. But I really want you to get a good look at this. Oh, he also comes with a alternate hand. See, I'm all over the place. I told you it's not even a review like that. So if you want a more relaxed hand, then just pop that out. Pop that in. Boom. Look at the scope to this, man. It's phenomenal. The arms right there. You even get some rusted paint details. Oh, man, that's sick. Uh, the canopy in there. Hold on a second. Just got to pop this up. And there you go. Look at the seating chair. Again, it's only going to fit like the three and three quarters size figures. You got the seat right there. Um, for some reason, mine looks like it's kind of shifted to uh, the side. But you get some buttons. Um, this is supposed to glow uh, with a black light. So kind of like, you know, the movie where it has that glowing effect. I don't have a black light, so it's not really going to pop well on camera. But that's a neat touch. Um, get some, like, you know, yellow and black patterns. Get some paint details, too, right here on the torso. I'm going to call this the torso area or the head. Torso, the head. The horse <laughs> uh, And you even get that nice uh, paint that go right there. Beyond Glory. Yeah, man. Look at the paint details right there. Number 11. Uh, that I might, like, scratch off and put, like, an AIM logo or something. You know? Uh, or whatever I want to kind of deck this out. G.I. Joe logo. Nice details, bro. More paint details right there. I like the rusted look. Get that near the feet. So much... Man, so much sculpting details. Look at all this line work. The steel-like line work. On the bottom. Uh, you don't really get anything on the back. You just get it right here on the mech butt. And nothing really on the back. But, uh, yeah. On the top. You know. It's Really, this is just amazing. Wow. All right, articulation is really impressive with this uh, mech because, you know, obviously you got the canopy there. Um, but the other movements, you know, you got the arms right here. Let's just say the shoulders that move uh, back and forth like that on a nice ratchet click too. So that is really good if you want to bring the arms forward and back. And then you got the arms right here that move that far up. So, yeah, that's some good movement there. It moves down, and you can rotate them around. You even get a bicep or really elbow swivel right there. Single jointed elbows that bend in that far. And they can even move that far back if you want to do something uh, creative with that. And you got the wrist swivel. There's no wrist hinge right there. You get a waist swivel on a hard ratchet clink. That's so nice. The legs, they really don't spread out. They're on ball joints, but they really don't spread out. So all you're going to get is that, which, you know, that's fine. Uh, the thighs do pivot, you know. So they pivot inward and outward. You got the legs that move that far up so th yo that that's impressive for a mech uh, it could move you know that far up you could kick its own head if it wants to and it can move that far back and you got the single jointed knees look at that heel to the mech butt <laughs> um that's funny and you got the ankles that move up that far and they move down just straight they're not really going to move any further down no pivot and no swivel so i did want to stack this up next to the hydra stomper i think it looks really cool i just have a 20th anniversary steve rogers head from the captain america 
then showing you what it looks like next to a G.I. Joe. So I got Scarlet there. If you want to take a Fortnite figure, you know, here's Jules. If you want to put them next to a regular size Marvel Legends figure, here's the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man figure, which I'm working on the review next. I don't think I have a three and three quarters figure, but the small smallest figure I have <laughs> right now in six inch scale is the Star Wars Black Series Bad Batch. Uh, or Miga. Surprisingly, it doesn't fit all the way. I even had to bend the knees a little bit. Hold on. Maybe I got it here this time. And, uh, uh, it's gonna take some force in there. But as you can see, the head kind of keeps raising, uh, the windshield here. So, all right. Uh, I mean, maybe some more finagling. That'll work, but I saw Talker R put Bone Breaker in there because, you know, he's half a body. And if you don't plan on completing the Bone Breaker bath, you could just get the figure that comes with his upper torso. So I could tell you this much, it'll work this way. Uh, the canopy will stay up like that, it won't close, so you're just gonna have to display him. But for, you know, for Bone Breaker, it works just because, like, he could pop himself out of the chassis to upgrade to another uh you know chassis or whatever if he wants to put himself in a mech he could do that too so <laughs> this would be really good uh if i can modify one of the reavers and put them in there you know you have the whole cyborg thing going on but i really want to use this more for gi joe than anything because i want gi joe mechs especially with the his tank coming out man i'm gonna need my gi joes to be fully loaded to take on them his tanks so uh, as you can see, Lady J here, I popped off the legs, and, uh, this is definitely going to work. So, you can just seat her on there, you know, and boom, close the canopy, and <laughs> oh man, oh, that looks sick. Now, this is pretty cool to get some add-ons. I got the, uh, Gatling gun that came with the San Diego Comic-Con Marvel Legends exclusive Thunderbolts Crossbones. Uh, this was actually reused. You could probably get it cheaper. I don't, if you plan on getting a Gatling gun like this, I don't recommend you. <laughs> uh, shell out the money because this is like, it goes for a ridiculous price. But this was actually review, uh, reused from their G.I. Joe Sigma 6 line. I forgot what character it came with. Uh, was it Roadblock? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, man. But this has a pretty cool mechanic that you could just, uh, rotate, rotate, rotate this little knob. And then you can just, what is it? I forgot. Oh, this little trigger thing right here. Uh, you could just hold it. And <laughs> that, you know, that's, that's freaking cool. I think I showed this off before in my, uh, crossbones review when they updated him. That wasn't really like an update because they used that stupid Hyperion mold. But if I want to like put a Gatling gun add on to the top, uh, hold on. I could put this take this out i know i could take this piece out and just plant this like slide this like right here maybe and uh i think that could work yeah and then i could just put that here that looks pretty freaking cool now what i'm trying to achieve here is i'm trying to find a way where i can have an additional mount like have an extra character mount on top of this and gun you know this gatlin gun or a different gun or something like that i was looking at this thing right here which is coming from the marvel selects iron man ultimate iron man this broke on me so i might have to get a, another one because i plan on uh displaying this piece for my hall of armor marvel legends hall of armor so if I could just take this apart, and if you got any ideas, please feel free to share them with me. But I'm trying to get something where I can't fit it, like, underneath here. But I want to put this around his waist, so that way there's, like, a seated gunner right there, you know? Um, there's this screw right here. So I'm going to take this out. So just unscrew this thing right here. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. If I could just screw that piece back in uh hold on a second I'm trying to get this here there oh no no this is blocking it it's the the knife here so the knife is gonna have to come out looks like we got a seat or at least a mount oh man no it's gonna be way too close no one's gonna be seated there 
Uh, I think I know how to work around this though. Oh shit, guys. <laughs> I got it to actually screw on there and fit. I might be able to cover these uh, tabs here. It's no biggie. Uh, damn, and while I can't get no one seated on here, however, I could probably uh, remove these top two pillars or whatever this thing is and then be able to mount. Like, I could just mount her on top of these two things like there, just keep her foot planted and then, you know, have an additional gunner because that would be freaking sick. Okay, not the exact idea I had in mind because I wanted her seated, but... I mean, something like this can work. As you can see, I have her manning the gunner. And that just freak. This combo looks freaking cool. It's not completely secure and sturdy. As, as you can see, I have her balanced. But something where, like, you know, she's pivoting the uh, gunner at the top. You know, I can make this work for photography or, or any kind of thing I want. But, yeah, man, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. I'm going to try to experiment some more ideas. This is just basically brainstorming with y'all. There are other ways. If you look at Articulated Ninja's video, just watch his uh, videos. And he did this mod where he, like, dremeled this out completely, you know, got the canopy out. He made it look like they were seated on top of the actual, like, mech just like that. And uh, he had the canopy kind of flip so the windshield was kind of guarding the front of the figure and you can have something creative where like they're uh you know if you give them something to look like it, they're manually driving the mech like i use this dc universe classic the sod harness you could take your creativity to a lot of places here so so wrapping up my final thoughts here things like this is what i love about the hobby when you can find something that's not in scale with your six inch line but find a way to make it work with some creativity then it makes it so much sweeter Feels like when we were kids and used our imaginations to make our toys cooler. Yeah, you have to pop your figure in half, but it's doable and you can play with all sorts of perspectives in your photography. Honestly, it's a mech and you don't even need perspective with some because mechs come in all different sizes. Like I said before, this is great to go with your Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe, and Valiverse figures. Which I still need to get a Valiverse figure and try one out. I hope he makes some mech suits for his line because I'll be all over that. McFarlane Toys knocked it out of the park with this one. Plastic is real sturdy. There's some paint details. It's not all over, but I feel it's in the spots that matters. Articulation is surprisingly decent. That's what made it more fun for me. Good accessories. Everything is glorious about this figure. Thank you again, Talker Art. I think I'll call you Uncle Talker from now on, and when you come to my town, know that I'll treat you to a meal. There's also this Brandon guy you always cheer for in your videos, but whoever he is, he must mean a lot to you, so you can bring him too, and I'll treat you both. That goes for you too, Articulated Ninja. I know you said you got me whenever I go to PA, but know that I'll treat you good when you come to Charlotte. Alright fam, just wanted to shoot this quick video. I'm hungry as hell, gonna go grab a fat ass sandwich, so I'm out. Thanks for watching everyone. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, at xmanny87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.